Hello. Good morning. I'm glad to be back with you again. I pray you had a, a good night's sleep. Praise the Lord. If not, I pray God bless you. Have a good day and a good evening and a good night tonight. Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to say a short word of prayer. This is Annabelle Chase, Pastor Annabelle Chase, coming to you again with another video. Praise the Lord. We had Isaiah, the 43rd chapter of Isaiah, starting at the first and the second verse. Praise God. Isaiah 43. First chapter and the second verse, praise the Lord. Amen. Chapter 43. Amen. The first verse. But now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. That's what the Lord is saying to all those that believe in Jesus Christ by faith. God has called us, and he not only us, he called everybody in the whole world, but the Lord Jesus knew that everybody was not going to serve him. But it's going to be so many going to serve God and believe in him for this world come to an end. That it said that in the book of Revelation, we won't be able to count them, praise God. Amen. That's a wonderful thing to know, praise the Lord. Everybody will not be lost, but that's a choice that we make. God don't send us nowhere that we don't want to go. Praise the Lord. If you want, you want to live peaceful after your soul and spirit lead this body, accept the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Praise the Lord. I hope you do. That's a choice everyone has to make. We can't make nobody serve God. Amen. Yeah, that's the choice. And every individual have that freedom to choose to serve God, uh, to believe in God or not. Praise God. You got some that, that went on to uh, uh, serving God and then they decided to have some trial and tribulation. They didn't believe God would deliver them delivered them and they didn't want to go through them and they backslided those called backsliders knowing the way of the lord and went back but god said if you repent of your sins and be godly sorry of what you did amen wrong he will accept you back the door is open go in while the door is open to each and every one praise god and i hope you that the ones that don't believe in god i hope you believe in god before it's too late believe what jesus did for the son of god amen so we have the father son and the holy spirit praise god and when you believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we receive the Holy Spirit, the power to be able to carry us through our trials and tribulation to help us, amen, in the time of need. And we need the Lord to even be able to breathe and get up in the morning. Thank you, Jesus, amen. Just a short word of prayer, Lord. Thank you for another day. Thank you for watching over us, keeping from all hurt, harm, and unseen danger. Lord, continue to watch over the children everywhere, Lord. Touch, save, heal, and deliver, Lord. I pray and ask in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're in Isaiah 43, first verse to the second verse. Praise God, amen. Uh, but now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. This is what the Lord is saying to all of us today, not back when he said back in the Old Testament book, but he's telling us today in the New Testament book through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I've called you. He called the whole world, everybody. God is a good God. He loved us. He created us. He's our creator, whether we believe it or not. We didn't come just start being no human being. There's no such thing. If you look at your eyes, you can see, color, speak, learn, and, and make things and do things. Come on. It's got to be somebody that did something to get us started. Praise the Lord. And I believe it was God. And I thank you for Jesus that he went on the cross and died for all our sins. Praise the Lord. Not all my family believe in God. But I pray, God, they, that they believe in him before they leave uh, this world, praise God. Which, that's, it's for me, and it's for all of us. I ain't saying it to one certain group of everybody in this world. Jesus is the answer to our problems, to our troubles. It don't mean you're not going to have trials and tribulations while you're in this world, but you have somebody you can lean on and depend on that will not let you down. You have to trust him. He say, my time, I'm going to do what I say, but keep the faith. Believe in me. Keep trusting in me. And you can't do that if you have not accepted Jesus as your personal Savior. You can always lean to something that don't have no, that's not good for you or your family, praise God. But thank God for his mercy. He mercy on us and, and helps us and make ways out of no way for us. And we give other people the credit, not knowing it's God, they're working through them to help us, praise God. But everyone have to come to believe in that for themselves. God don't force you. He don't threaten you. He just saying, he just tell you what's going to happen without his help because he know the enemy, the devil is busy 
trying to destroy us, make us destroy one another, make us try to make us, what I'm saying, destroy ourselves in one another with all this hatred and no love, no caring about nobody. Praise God, amen. Don't even care if they live or die. They don't know that their soul and spirit gonna have to go somewhere. And if you live even this world and harm and did all these things wrong, you're gonna have to give account for it when you meet Jesus. Praise your Lord. Ain't no coming back here. Ain't no dying and I go to sleep and there ain't no more. I don't exist no more, don't know that no more. That is not true. If you read the book of Revelation, here to tell you that is not true. Our soul was made in the image of God, and God cannot die, and we, our soul and spirit, cannot die either. Only the body that we live in dies, people. Please, please get Jesus before it's too late. Praise the Lord. So this, this is Jesus letting you know he redeemed them, and he letting us know he has redeemed us too. If you believe in Jesus Christ, your sins is forgiven. Whatever you did, God has forgiven you. You're sitting on death row. And you, God is sorry what you did. God will forgive you and your soul and spirit will go to heaven just like anybody else, praise God. But you can't, you can't, you can't continue doing these things. It's wrong. It's wrong in the sight of God and it's wrong to treat and do these things to people that's evil. God do not condone that. That is not right, praise the Lord. I'm glad he saved me. I was born in the world. Uh, in sins like everybody else, but I learned and came through to believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise God. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did because I could I could have ended up in a lot of kind of ways, but I thank God he turned my mind and heart away starting in my younger days, and I thank God for it. But I don't regret it. I do not regret anything. I just wish I had known the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ early. Praise the Lord. And a lot of things I went through, I wouldn't have went through or either thought about. But, but but I'm out now, thank God, for the redeeming me, and I'm going to stay with the Lord, amen, all to the rest of the end of my life on this earth. I have made up my mind, but that's for everybody. So I'm going to go to um, the third, the second verse, I'm sorry. When you pass it through the water, I will be with you. And when you pass it through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you, set you ablaze, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt to you for a ransom, praise the Lord. Amen. But that, that's, that's like God give nations to peoples and, and, help, and different things, have to win walls back in the Old Testament book, and he do the same thing today. But the main thing is the second verse letting us know God would go through with us. And what are you talking about? He's talking about our trials and our tribulations that we've been going through. He's not talking about natural fire and water. He's talking about your trials and your tribulations. No, he's talking about the, the water, the river, the, no, I'm sorry, the water, yes, the river and the fire. They may represent afflictions that we go through and the trials and and, the, and, and and tribulations that we go through and talking about difficult that we face, that we face in life, praise the Lord. That's what God is saying. He said he will go with us. He'll be with us. he help us in troublous time. Amen. Thank God he is with us in our most troublesome time. We live in a world where people have free, have, where, where people have free will and can't cause us pain. They have free will and can cause us pain, God is saying. Praise the Lord. Things some people might say about you not right. Have you to suffer pain that are unnecessary because they don't lack you for some reason or another. Amen. Everybody not the same. We have to accept people for what they are. We don't go around saying, if you don't talk like me and act like me and look like me, I don't like you. No, God ain't made us all to look alike. And if you did, we would get sick of looking at one another if we all looked the same. Praise God. So I'm glad about it. Amen. But knowing that through your suffering and your pains and your up and down, if you know the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, stay with the Lord and keep on trusting him. His God, in his time, God will deliver you. And I say again to those I love. Amen. Praise the Lord. Not sin, not wrong that's doing to people. But, the, but but love your soul enough to want to warn you through the Spirit of the Lord. Get writing and do it now with God before it's too late. Love you. Short read a prayer. God bless, touch, save, heal, and deliver. Lord Jesus, all those children that's going to school today, in school, out of school, Lord, touch them. Have mercy upon them, Lord Jesus. Peoples around the world, no matter what race they are, Lord, we are your creation. Touch, save, heal, and deliver them, Lord, that going through trials and tribulations and mudslides and hurricanes and storms. Wars and rumors of wars, Lord Jesus. Please, Jesus, touch, save, heal, and deliver, Lord. Help us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. 
like you did with the, through the, with the prophets in the, in the Old Testament book. And we say that and he, you said that same thing apply to us in the New Testament book through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, continue to help us go through our trials and tribulations. Thank you, Jesus. All these blessing thanks to ask in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, remember God.